Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Fern Bus Simulator. Today we are on a shuttle route. We're on one of my favorite routes. Uh, we're on my city route that I made. If you guys don't know what that is, you can go back on my channel. Uh, I have a video all about it showing the route. Um, I absolutely love this route. Uh, so we're going to do this. It's winter time. It's, it's early December. It's snowing out. Um, it's early evening. Uh, we got the, uh, the sprinter, which I don't care for how this sounds, but I really do like the sprinter. And uh, yeah, we're going to bring these people where they need to go. And you know what? Well, let's just move this seat back a little bit. At least so I can see the mirror. There we go. And we want the general information up there. And mm, probably the navigation as well. I don't think I need the mirrors. Yeah, we don't need the mirrors. Not in this bus. It's not that that big of a bus. All right. So let's uh, turn the headlights on for one. There we go. We'll shut the door. We don't need to do the announcement. Oh, no, I have to reverse. What am I thinking? All right. We can just back this baby up and be on our way. All right. So, how is everybody doing? I hope you're all having a fantastic day. So, there's actually uh, some things that I want to discuss in this video. For one, I've been seeing a lot of people asking the questions about the, uh, the Logitech steering wheel, um, about how stiff it is. And that is that is an issue with this game because there is no real force feedback. So, yeah. Um, the only workaround I know of um, is to boot up a game like Froggy Simulator or another, uh, apparently another game that has real support but doesn't offer force feedback so maybe like uh, trucks and logistics um, ugh, on the road <laughs> uh, or, or something similar to that uh, so just start the game up and then come out of it and then go back into this game and hopefully it would reset your wheels uh, center spring now I have heard a couple people say it works with any game that has wheel support, whether it has force feedback enabled or not. So they said that you could boot up like ACC or F1 or any game like that as well. Um, I don't know. I don't have a Logitech wheel, so I am not an expert at it, but that's uh, that's what I've been told. So that's, you know, a workaround. And again, uh, from what I hear, it's not perfect, but it does help. So, <laughs> Yeah. You know, I was thinking of making a video on just that, but I don't know. I, I decided not to, so I figured I would just put it in this in this video here. And if you're on Logitech and you're watching this video, then hopefully I helped you out a little bit. I think it works with the Thrustmaster as well, like the T150, because I think it's a problem with that wheel as well, which I do have that wheel, but I've never... Uh, I've never hooked that up yet. Oh, okay. We can turn the AC up. Uh, the AC. Why is it the AC anyway? Is that what the, is that what they call it in Europe? Is everything the AC? Because here in America, we would have the air conditioner, the AC, and we would have the heater. <laughs> two uh, two different things. Or maybe they're not in a car. I don't know. But yeah, I love this route, man. This is kind of like an inner city route. I don't believe there's any highway driving on here. It's all kind of just going from like uh, city to city. And this is a uh, this is a very good route to use, like the uh, the M A N inner city bus. Because that's more of a city bus and, and not really of a coach. And I do like using that for this rail. But I thought we would take out this this sprinter. We haven't we haven't used this in a while. 
And this is one of my favorite little buses in the game. I like this so much better than the BB-40. Yeah, don't like the BB-40. Not at all. <laughs> so I did have Nico asking me about other bugs in the game, wanting to know if there were any other bugs because they want to get them sorted out. Um, so, you know, obviously, the traffic AI is a problem. Um, but there's kind of good news about that. Um, so th the semis kind of like flipping over on the highway. Apparently, TML has that fixed. Um, I believe they have a beta for Fernbus right now on PC um, that I haven't checked out yet. Um, that that fixes that, and also Nico did tell me that they uh, they do have the traffic problem with the traffic AI stopping is a PC problem, and TML is going to be looking into that. So that's where we're with that. Uh, so the AI will it be fixed in the next patch? I I don't know. It's hard to say. It depends. It depends when TML gets it fixed on their end. If TML gets it fixed in a timely manner and there's enough time, then maybe it will. But I would probably be saying that we may not see the AI traffic fix until possibly two patches. So, yeah. Because, as I said, TML, they, they know about it, but I guess they don't have a fix for it as of yet. So all I can say is at least they know about it. At least they know about it. At least it's something that's on their list to work on. So hopefully that'll get fixed sometime soon. Um, what else? Oh, so they know all about the uh, <laughs> kind of like brick walls around certain tunnels. They know about that. They're, they're going to try to get that sorted out. Uh, what else? Gosh, there were there were other things. Of course, uh, the bugs that came with the uh, the new update, the missing passengers in like Copenhagen, and a couple other stops. That's going to be fixed. The Van Hool buses. Let's get these fine people checked in on this cold December morning. So I'm really wrestling with whether or not I want to get the bus on PC. I mean, this game is supposed to come to console eventually. Time phrase, uh, time phrase, time. Uh, Time frame wise, uh, I have no idea. You know, it seems like that game is going to be in early access for a very long time, unfortunately. Uh, what about you? No? How about you, lady? Okay, I'm the. Let me just check these people one more time. Maybe I miss them. No, I don't think so. All right, I think we are all good to go. And yeah, the uh, the livers are doing that again. Hmm. Interesting. So someone told me something about that. Yeah, and they're back again. So I just sat down and came out and it kind of reset everything. Interesting. Okay, well that's that's working I guess. Alright, so let's close up the doors here. And move on to our next stop, shall we? Let's just let this van pass. AC is still too cold? Wait a minute.
Is the AC not working in this? Maybe it's not. Of course, I don't know what like 24 degrees Celsius is. I don't know what that equals out to in, in Fahrenheit. I'm not, you know, I'm not good with that stuff. So I have no idea how warm that they would want it in December. So we'll, uh, we'll just keep turning it up until they, they stop complaining, I guess. I, I got a feeling, though, if they still complain, then maybe the AC is just busted. It's not working because, like I said, although I'm not familiar with Celsius, I feel like 24 should be more than enough. I could be wrong. I could be totally wrong, though. Oh, they, they also, they know about the performance issues, guys. They, they know about the uh, the frame drops, especially in, like, all of France. They know that. Um, I don't know what's going to come of that. I don't know if that can be fixed. I know that I've heard on PC it, the performance is pretty bad as well, so I don't know if it's something that can be fixed on console before it's fixed on PC. It's just, it's kind of the way the coding works for porting these games over, Okay. So basically, they take the, the code of the game, the, the main code, and they just port it to console. Uh, they can't really fix anything that are in the PC version of the game. So, like, whatever code, whatever bugs, whatever problems they have that's in the main code of the PC game that they give to uh, Zero Games, they port that over. So we'll have all of the issues the PC version of the game has because TML hasn't fixed it on the PC side yet. Now, the bugs that they can fix are bugs that are kind of like uh, exclusive to console, I guess, or, or exclusive to, you know, them porting, you know, something getting screwed up in the porting or whatever. But yeah, like any of the, the bugs that are just in the game regardless of what platform you play then tml has to fix those first and then i'm assuming they pass that on to aerosoft in zero and then they can then implement it into the uh the console version of the game that's kind of my interpretation of it anyway i kind of feel like it was everything I, i've been hearing and you know when i talked to nico and stuff it it kind of seems like that's how it works again <laughs> I could be completely wrong. I might not know what the hell I'm talking about. Ooh. Yeah, okay. You uh you came up pretty fast. Gosh, look at this. This is proper winter, isn't it? Four twenty three and it's is this dark? Just managed to sneak right in there. Not too bad. Not too shabby. So I think in the next video, we're going to check out France. We'll see how bad it is. I haven't been to France since the update. France is one of those places where it's... Uh, it's pretty scary to go it, even before the update. The performance-wise is just so bad. I mean, like literally the worst of this game you see in France. And I probably should have put up that other mirror so I could see over there. But yeah, like the uh, the worst of the performance is usually around France and like the whole country. I don't think I've been to anywhere in France where it's been really smooth. So. Yeah, the next next trip will be somewhere in France. We'll probably leave from the other main station because I really don't like the other station in France. 
Ah, you know what? I could have probably made that, but that's all right. I mean, according to that, we're already late. Which I don't quite understand how we're late. It says it's 4.30. It's going to take us a little over a half hour to get there. Hmm, interesting. So yeah, something's not right. We have to go seven kilometers. It's going to take us a half hour to go seven kilometers. I mean, I guess if we hit all these lights, it might take that long. But uh, it doesn't seem right. And also, I don't think the time, I think the time is slowed down when you're stopped at red lights. I don't think it's, uh, it's like the same scale, I want to say. God, look at the... Oh, it's green. Crap. I love the water droplets. I love the weather effects in this game, though. The weather effects are done so well. I mean, I am kind of driving like a little lady, though, so we could probably speed it up a little here. Yeah, I think that I think that's wrong. Four kilometers away, and it's not even five o'clock yet. Come on, man. There's no way it's going to take a half hour. Something's wrong. Either that's not the real time, or is that our final destination we're going to? That that shouldn't be. I kind of feel like they took the Christmas decorations out of this game. Because usually when you play around December, when you set the, the calendar to December, they just sh sort of show up. You see Christmas decorations, but I haven't seen them since not the last update, but the update before that. So I don't know if they took them out of the console version or what, which is kind of upsetting. I really enjoyed that. I, in case you guys don't know, in case you're just watching me for, for the first time, I absolutely love Christmas time favorite time of year I thought that was a really cool thing that they put in here just you know just a nice little added touch I do know in the uh, the bus they have like a whole Christmas market area that I was watching a video on it and man it looks really cool people on this post. You guys are going to start disappearing? You're going to start leaving or what? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So I would say if you want more passengers play on the, uh, the shuttle mode. I don't know why, but for some reason you get more passengers than you do in Flixbus. Um, or any of you people, I gotta check, yep. Why are y'all standing back here? Are you hiding? Oh, also, it seems that there are certain cities in this game where when the people get out of the bus, they actually do walk away. I guess Berlin is one of them. I see someone in their, their Discord post that, um, and one of the developers actually said that <laughs> some cities, some stops, the people walk away, but for some reason they couldn't get them to do that at every stop, which to me, is, I just don't understand it. I just don't understand it. I mean, the one thing I do understand is like I get that game development isn't easy. I understand that, but... The people walking away from the bus, like when they get off the bus, they just walk away. 
you know, it, to me, it's like, why couldn't you implement that in every? What, what is what is the cause? What is the reason? What what is preventing that from happening at every stop? And was as old as the game is now because this is on PC as well. Um, was as old as the game is now. You're telling me you couldn't figure out how to do it by now, or is it something that you're just like, eh? I feel like that's a lot of what happens with TML that they have these issues and they they see some kind of roadblock and they were just like, eh, we'll just leave it. You know, we, we won't go back and try to fix it because there's a lot of things in the game that people complain about that have been in the game since day one on PC as well and they just don't seem to care. And I've said this before, it just baffles me because there's some things you see in this game like the weather. Right? The seasons. Not just the seasons, but the fact that the passengers and the pedestrians and stuff, they're actually dressed for the season. I mean, at some point, a lot of love went into this gate. And then, at some point, they just lost all love for it. Maybe they just lost all love for game development overall. I don't, I don't really know. You know, like I said, they... They seem to be more proud of Flash Base FM than they do any of their games. Hey, where you going, buddy? Don't even try it. Which is a shame because it's like, you know, what what are you? Are you a developer? Are you a radio station? You know, you're trying to juggle both. Is one funding the other, maybe? You know, like, is it like the games? Are those help funding Flash Base FM? I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's a very weird situation that I've never really seen with any other developers before. I don't think I've seen any other developers that uh, kind of like have their, have their hand in a couple different things at once. You know? And if they do, it's like... You know, try to focus on, on one thing at a time, man. I will say, like, the way that lighting pops in, it's... You know... That's probably all stuff that could be fixed. But again... I don't feel that's important to mention, like, at this point. I think they need to get a lot of the big stuff taken care of first, like the vehicle AI, you know, and then possibly work on little things. I haven't played this game enough on PC to really know the game on PC, to, to really see, like, what goes on over there compared to here, what, what are issues that we have here compared to over there, you know what I mean? I may have to do that. I may have to just get in that game and just play it for, you know, several hours at a time, pick a day, and just really play the game and, and try things out on there and see what it looks like. See if I can spot big differences. Oh, I know what else uh, we can talk about. The sun. So, apparently... The sun is just, it is what it is. It's, it's in the game. There's no, there's no changing it. There's, ah. Yeah, there, there's nothing they can do about it at this point with the sun. It's just the way it is. But I think they said that they're going to look into the sun blinds not working because, honestly, if the sun shades did their job like they're supposed to, the sun wouldn't be an issue. But the fact that when you pull the sun blinds down, the sun just shines through them anyway, so... They don't really do anything. They're kind of pointless. <laughs> no, yeah, see, that's definitely that's definitely busted because that's showing in the red, and there's no way. There's no way it's going to take me an hour to go six kilometers. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Even if I drove like a complete grandma, <laughs> I still it still wouldn't take me an hour to go six kilometers. Good lord.
But I will admit, the whole kilometers thing does trip me up sometimes. Because sometimes I'll be playing this game and it'll say like, I oh, yeah, have 10 kilometers left and I'm driving. I'm like, God damn, how long is this going to take? <laughs> and then I forget that, you know, 10 kilometers isn't the same as 10 miles. Uh, what are we doing here? No, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. There we go. So yeah, for most on PC, they uh, they have a beta going right now. I haven't checked it out. I do have to laugh that every time they put out a beta, it says uh, like performance. They worked on performance, and I never see an improvement in performance. <laughs> never. It's kind of crazy. So apparently the AC is good now because I haven't heard anybody complaining about it. They are doing an awful lot of grumbling back there though, aren't they? Now, one thing I do notice about the PC version of the game... Oh, gosh. I This is a weird stop. I keep forgetting about this. Every time I do this route, this stop hits me. And it's like, I always forget that this is such a, a strange stop. That's my bad for not having it marked, but... Gosh, it's nice and bright here, at least. Hey there, frumpy dude. Okay, you're not coming with us. I guess you got off the bus. Yeah, I mean, obviously I could have the icons on over their head, which for me, it just takes out the immersion of the game. But like, how cool would it be if the people got off the bus and just left? Just walked away. <laughs> or even just disappear? That's we only have one more person getting on the bus. And there's this Fabian looking dude again. Alright, so... I, I still always check just to make sure because, I don't know. You never know. I get dinged a lot on tourist bus for not picking up all the passengers. Yeah, look at it. We got this little bus pretty much... Um... How many people are sitting in this one Z? Like, uh, hmm. ma'am, sir, sir, are, are you, are you okay? Would you like me to, I mean, are people in Germany this that friendly? I have no idea, but uh, I guess what happens on the bus stays on the bus, huh? Ain't none of my business. Just make sure you clean the seat before you leave, please. God. <laughs> All right. Oh, are you waiting for me? Well, thank you. You are a gentleman. Or maybe it was a lady. I have no idea. I couldn't see. Oh, but yeah, on the uh, PC side... It does a weird thing when you get an FPS drop. It actually affects the force feedback on the steering wheel, which is strange. I've never had a game really do that. And it can get really annoying when you go over rough roads because if you get an FPS drop at the right time, 
the wheel continues to vibrate even when you get off that road onto a more a more smooth more smooth road eventually it just evens itself out but yeah it is annoying whoa well that being said I still feel this game would benefit so much from having force feedback on console it's such a shame you know and you know I know that they said that it takes a lot of work but I mean geez Astragon can do it I think they said it took three months to get one wheel working on a city driver so in my mind what is that Nine months to get all of the major brands of wheels working of wheels working on console. Logitech, Thrustmaster, Fnatic, right? That's all you really need. So it would take less than a year. <laughs> Sonntag's Fahrer. Dude! He's still there, too. Oh, my God. Look, at, now we're just... <sighs> <sighs> that guy just ran into me. Totally merged over in my lane. No sense about him whatsoever. And that caused me to crash into that other dude. Which... <laughs> You know, in reality, he's seen what was going on. He should have stopped, but he, he kept... He kept coming anyway. One of the things I, I find a little comical is when people complain about the AI in ATS and ATS 2. Personally, I feel the AI in those two games are pretty good. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Whoa, what am I doing? I thought it was a double lane. <laughs> no, I'm not paying attention. Uh, but yeah, I, I think the AI in those two games are actually pretty good. But to be fair, AI in driving games is just iffy. <laughs> it really is. It's just hit or miss. Another thing I see a lot of people asking about is, is Poland. When is Poland coming out for consoles? And according to Aerosoft, they said don't uh, don't expect to look at it, look for it earlier than May. So May June, that's where I'm thinking it's. It's going to come out anyway. I guess it's really good looking. I haven't really seen a lot of gameplay on it from a PC. And I definitely don't want to spend $30 on it on PC. That's... That's a little much. I have no idea how much that DLC is going to cost when it comes to the console. I'm a little worried. I'm going to be honest with you guys. If, if it's priced at $30, I don't know how good of a reception that's going to get on console. A $30 DLC. I mean, that's... Uh, that's like train sim world territory. Speaking of train sim world, I keep saying this, but we got to get back into train sim world. I got to start getting a little bit more varied content on the channel here.
and this week I feel is going to be the beginning of that. Um, we're going to continue with the Planet Zoo stuff. That's that's a given. I mean, I am loving that. Um, the content's really fun to make. I enjoy it. I'm not getting the views on it, but I don't really care. Uh, it's not it's not about that for me. I just like putting out the content, and uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Um, I want to get back into WRC. Uh, I want to get into Train Sim World. Um, you know, the new F1 game is going to be coming out in May. Uh, I don't know where I'm at with that yet. I'm still thinking I may get that on PC. Um, I, you know, I've bought it every year on console. So I may get it on PC this year. I don't think there's a big difference between the PC version and the console version. Obviously, like the uh, the modding and stuff on PC is a lot different, right? You could do a lot more with liveries and stuff like that. Yeah. I'm I'm just, I'm kind of getting into, like, a, I don't know. It's getting kind of stagnant, I guess, for me. You, know, you definitely have to play other things and have fun. But also, from a content creator standpoint, you know, I like to have a little more varied stuff as well. So, is that the last stop? I think it might be. Yes, that was the last stop, guys. Wow, I wasn't even paying attention. Uh, all right, you know, that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. I enjoyed that route so much. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys are having a lovely day. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.